Welcome back everyone, it's Austin Tatius here. Today's video is going to be an S-Class experimental pistol with white crystals on top. So it's a blue with white crystal experimental exotic tool. Um, we are currently in Euclid, so um, this is the starting galaxy. And in order to get here and arrive in the correct system and the correct location, um, you will need to use a portal in Euclid. Glyphs are galaxy specific, so you can only get from the same system to the same system. You can't use glyphs to travel from, as an example, Isentam to Euclid or vice versa. You have to go Euclid to Euclid or Isentam to Isentam. Um, we're in a tier two economy, this one. It's a satisfactory tier two Viking system so you can still get all the ships in this system as an s-class but it's just one percent chance instead of two and it will have seven different fighter variants but from memory i, I don't think any of them are particularly great um there is that uh gull wing uh all red snow speeder there but they're not really my thing uh, so the space station cabinet is a natural C-class and it's just a pistol, a uh, really boring tool, so we'll ignore that. I do just show the space station tool in all my videos though. Some people like using them as a bit of a guide. Um, right, this fighter of mine here, this all-white alpha fighter with star screen wings, um, shockwave wing attachments and a box thruster a really really nice fire to this I actually found this about 11 months ago um, and I've recently just picked this up on a new save this save here uh, not a new save sorry I'm just adding it to a, I'm building out a white fleet of ships now if you want this ship um, it is in Euclid as well and I recently posted this ship as a repost on um, the interstellar index on Facebook as well as the no man's sky coordinate exchange um, so it, it, within the last week if you just sort of scroll through my posts on my reddit profile or on my um, on the Facebook page you will find this quite quickly it's one of the recent ships uh, but it's really nice really really nice fighter that and your portal uh, moon is going to be this moon here um, a toy now what you'll need to do is as soon as you arrive through the portal on this moon you'll just need to reload a save so just jump in your ship um, hop in your ship get back out your ship so it creates the save and then reload that save I did start a search on this moon but I don't like searching for tools on moons I find them really frustrating and you do very quickly run out of um, minor settlements because there just isn't anywhere near as many to search on moons because of the land mass. Um, so after 61, I gave up and basically went next door to its neighbouring planet. So this is actually where the S-Class cabinet is located on planet Soin. And it took another 31 settlements here. So just over 90 to find this cabinet. Um, so we'll head to that moon now and then we'll reload the save. And then that will spawn the moon's multi-tool pool into the system-wide pool. And it's uh, if you're in the space station, which you probably won't be, but it's tucked just behind this planet, the moon that we need. There she is. So yeah, this is this is where you're going to uh, portal into. And as mentioned, reload your save as soon as you come through. Because the only way that we can get this tool to appear in the S-Class cabinet is to reload on this moon. So that's what we're going to do now. And I'll show you the glyphs um, in just a second once we spawn back in. Um, there's no point in giving you the glyphs for the um, planet where the 
the S class cabinet is because you'll have to sort of fly to this moon and then back again. So you might as well just spawn on this moon, reload the save, and then just fly straight to the planet. So I'm going to give you the glyphs for this moon and not the um, planet with the S-Class cabinet. So the glyphs there at the bottom of your screen, they will be specific to this moon. So if you use those, you, you will arrive on this moon. And then, like I said, reload your save and fly straight to its neighbouring planet, Soin. So, so there we are again. Just make them a bit clearer. So glyphs bottom left of the screen. Right. Now we've reloaded, let's head to the neighbouring planet. Now I've put a base computer down here, just to make it easier for me to find, but the glyphs will be at the top of, sorry, the coordinates will be at the top of the screen for you. Um, and they're minus 28.34 and minus 99.15. There is also a comms station here and a save beacon. At every cabinet, I always leave a comms station and a save beacon. Um, sometimes they don't show for people, though, so it's kind of hit and miss with that. But hopefully you should see one of them. But if not, you'll just need to um, guide yourself with the coordinates above at the top of the screen. And... The, there's the coordinates there just to show you minus 28.34 minus 99.14 right and here she is so it's a blue and red decal experimental pistol with white crystals and it's called the sleep of the horizon it's s class Maximum 10 slots, all pistols, alien experimental or system, standard system pistols, every one of them comes with a maximum of 10 slots. Um, but you can obviously upgrade this to 24 slots and very similar sort of damage and everything to what you'll get with an experimental rifle. Um, so in first person, this is what it looks like. Lovely crystals they are don't often get white crystals, they're quite rare. And it goes really well, if you've got like a blue and white theme, like your ships or your suit or whatever, um, or white and blue, you might as well come and grab this, because it will go quite well. And then the 360, get into this dark area here. So there we go, there's the 360, so blue, red decal, it's a light blue actually, red decal and white crystals. There we go. Just to show you planet details. So details on the left and coordinates and resources on the right. And I've got plenty more videos to come. So I hope you've been enjoying the, the ones I've posted this week. And um, I'll see you in the next, well, hopefully the next video. But I've got quite a few coming. And some still very nice crystal tools, plasma tubers. I've got quite a few still to come. Um, stay tuned. Have a good rest of the weekend. And I'll speak to you all soon. Enjoy. Enjoy.